The same way we use whole numbers to count whole objects around us, we can use fractions to count parts of a whole. The simplest way to visualize fractions is with a perfectly round pie. This circle represents one whole pie. But now we can take this same pie and we can cut it into four equal pieces. So let's take our pie and we'll cut it in half and in half again. And we now has, have four equal pieces to make up our whole pie. One, two, three, four. And I can either sit, still see this as one whole pie, or I can look at it as four fourths of a pie. Now, if someone takes away one of these pieces, so let's take away this piece right over here. And we take this, this little number four here, I'm going to take it away from my whole pie and I'm going to move it over here by itself. So now we're going to be looking at three fourths of the pie and there's one more little piece left over here that is all by itself and this is one fourth of the pie. So over here, if I were to write this as a, as a fraction, I would write three fourths. And this little piece that I just took away and moved over here would be one fourth. So it's one piece out of the four total pieces that has been removed from my pie. So to write these values using fractions as I have here, we have two numbers stacked on top of each other separated by a horizontal line or a horizontal bar called the fraction bar. The number on the bottom is called the denominator and it represents the total number of pieces that my whole was cut into. The number on the top is the numerator and it represents the number of pieces that we're counting. So in this case, and I'm looking at how much pie is still left in my pie pan, there are three pieces out of the four total. So my numerator is three and my denominator is four. Now if we're looking at the one piece of pie that got removed, I would write it as one over four because it's just one part that I'm looking at one piece out of the four total, and in this case, my numerator is one, and you can see that my denominator stays the same. It's four, because I took that whole pie and I cut it into four equal pieces. Fractions can also be used to divide a group into parts. Here, we have a group of five stars. Some are shaded, and some are not. Our question is asking us what fraction of the stars are shaded. So I know my answer is going to be in a fraction form, so I'm going to write my fraction line. And I know I'm going to have a number on the top that's my numerator and a number on the bottom that's my denominator. So our denominator will show the total number of stars in the whole group. So in this case, we have one, two, three, four, five total stars in our whole group, which makes our denominator five. Five total stars, okay? Now our numerator, the number that's gonna go here, is going to show how many parts of the whole group are shaded. So I can count that I have two shaded stars. And so my numerator is going to be two because two of my stars are shaded. So the fraction of the stars that are shaded is two over five 
or two-fifths.